Well, Mike, as Gen Xers have grown up and gotten a little nostalgic for our childhood, there's been a surge of arcade bars opening. Yeah, places like Smash mm -hmm. in the Mall of America and Up Down in Uptown have video games covered. Now, pinball wizards have a place of their own in Uptown Minneapolis. It's called Tilt Pinball Bar, and while the games only cost a quarter to play, they're priceless to some. We had people calling about the 8-Ball Deluxe. I had no idea that it was so popular. People were freaking out. People were calling, like, you, you got to have it. You got to have the 8-Ball Deluxe. So we got it. It's here. Adam's Family and Lord of the Rings, Batman and the Wizard of Oz. Tilt Pinball Bar has a game for everyone. And they're all in such good shape, they could have come straight from a pinball museum. There's someone on site every single day. They're getting clean, they're getting repaired. They really are top notch. This place feels like a buddy's basement. Wood paneling on the wall, a bar top made from old pinball play fields. And while you may start with the games, they hope you stay for the food and drinks. Specialty dogs, we got a, vegan options, chips and dip. Everything's very like, I would think, uh, Grandma's potato salad, coleslaw. Because I would expect beer in a pinball bar, but yeah. I would not have necessarily expected craft Sure, podcast. sure. So we're trying to find that happy medium. We have a street social down the street. And we don't want to go too far there. We don't want to go too divey. We want to be right in the middle. We want to be that neighborhood bar. We want to have fresh ingredients, seasonal cocktails. A lot of the drinks are off of pinball. It's slam tilt. It's death save. It's high score. That's one of the drinks we're making today. Because it's bourbon and strawberry soda. Two things easy to like, for sure. <laughs> right. Start with muddled mint leaves. Add Jim Beam Original, a little simple syrup, and... Wisco Pop, it's out of Wisconsin. It's a organic strawberry soda we use. We also have cherry, so each their own. Fair to call this kind of a strawberry mint julep in a way? Yes, exactly. High score. Mmm. Yeah, you get that sort of oaky flavor from the bourbon, but also the sweet strawberry and a little bit of mint on the nose. Those were flavors that were meant to go together. A less sweet option called Feel the Power is similar to a margarita. Get your base spirit tequila, grapefruit uh, crema. crema, and then we're going to do a carrot ginger uh, juice. So a little spicy with the ginger a in there? A little spice, yeah. We add a little bit of heat to it, um, and then a good summer cocktail. Shake. Mm, that's sweeter than a margarita, but really like complex flavors going on there. There's a lot going on in this juice. It's as fresh as possible, too. Uh, I myself am a pinball fanatic. And I love pinball. Someday I am going to figure out a way to buy like a used machine or something like that. Those games there are all in pristine condition. If you want to go and play, yeah. 11 a.m. to 2 a.m. are the hours every day of the week. And yes, there are people in there as early as 11 o'clock to play. Wow, they get in there right when it opens. Yeah. Uh, I'll have to go check it no out. No crowds because they say there are 23 games, but there still can be a wait. It's just been that popular. They've only been open a month. So if you want to make today's recipes or find out more about the joint, just go to WCCO.com slash Mike's Mix.